Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, fine as asked, this is Battlefield 1. In today's live commentary, as per user request, we're going to be doing essentially an entire game. No fancy editing, no fancy funny moment selection or any of such nonsense, just a full game of Conquest. In this case, on the map of Fort DeVoe, one of my least liked Conquest maps in the game. I can promise you that. I really just don't enjoy this map whatsoever. And I just got rushed. The reason why I don't enjoy this map is because it is so very, very much the ultimate Zerg simulator, as my first death of the game is um, a plentiful illustration of, I'd say. But without getting too salty, at least for now, let's jump straight into the game. So we need to find a way to spawn on our squad mates. We cannot go for objectives. We must, we must remember not to go and try and save objectives. That's the best spawn of my life. Um, we need to always just stick... With the Zerg. Now I'm using the infamous, infamous rather, if I could speak English, M1912. Um, a weapon I have done a weapon review on. A weapon I enjoy quite significantly because it is just crazy. I like crazy weapons. Oh, and that guy got revived. Did I just get Zerged again? Anyway, as I was saying, a weapon I very much enjoy. It's just a bit tricky to use. Possibly also not the best choice for this map, given that you're usually facing five enemies at once. So we'll have to see how that goes. Is there a way for us actually to now join the Zerg? The Zerg is going to be. I'm going to be. Fuck all of you guys. I am not willing to die repeatedly five times because you either travel in groups of ten here or you get raped by groups of ten here. So let's go for B then. And um, let's make sure we get, we get ourselves some, uh, some nice kills for you guys to enjoy. There's a sniper playing on Fort DeVoe. I mean... What more needs to be said? Gas? Why is there a person using gas? Oh, what the hell? You're, uh, that's ballsy. That's ballsy to say the least. There is people still being hurt by my fire grenades. So I'm going to uh, send them a, a welcoming message. So we can't get a kill. There we go. Bit of grenade spam. I can engage in it as well. Usually just being the one getting killed by it. Let's get rid of this gas mask now that we can go around here. Anything? No. Oh, there's no entrance up here? Oh, they're coming up that stairs, though, from E, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to sit here and just get waited, wait to get grenaded. Same for this door here. This is, this is, this is my problem with this map. To zerg or get zerked? That is the question. I want to be able to flank people and get into interesting firefights. An interesting firefight is not a one on ten. Or when I miss all my shots. Oh, I did get a kill there, but... Let's do that. Then hide back here. I should be bursting this thing a lot better, to be honest with you guys, but... Like that. Although I should have bursted one shot more to get the quicker reload there, but... Better than not bursting at all. I've got a nade, so let's do this. Now, we see there's a lot of people there again. You can tell just by the number of nades coming in there. I mean, almost everybody plays Assault here. And if they're playing a Medic, camping little shit, they're, they're being a very nice person. Um, I'm going to have to camp here because I can hear a lot of people coming up. Need to get this gun reload. This is the main problem with this gun. Reloading takes forever. Let me put down ammunition. Just so I can get my nades back. Nothing wrong with a bit of nade spam on Fort Devo. Let's see what do we got here. Did I actually just miss that? That that was bad. I apologize, dear viewers, for having to watch that. Let's see, we're losing B. I'm not gonna re-engage that guy. I'm gonna go down here. Somebody on my left. Wow! Wow, that guy turned around fast! Jesus Christ! I wish I had that kind of reaction time. What the fuck was all that about? That guy just spun around like a maniac. No, my ping's fine. That's some grade A bullshit there, but we did we did alright. We did alright, given that we were in the end on our own on that objective again. Seems to happen a lot. Is there guys through here as well? Oh, of course there'll be guys to that. Oh, well, <laughs> no need to even shoot there. He was 
done for long before I could react. That grass grenade's now gone. Maybe if the grenades stop coming in, we can uh, kill somebody like that. I wish I could just... ah. When I did my weapon review for this weapon, I properly practiced with it, and my bursting was not the worst thing to happen to humankind ever. Now that I'm out of practice with this weapon again, my bursting is absolutely atrocious. So I'm starting to only get one kill per mag out of the weapon, which is bad. And I'm also starting to lose some of the range that you can have with this weapon because I'm not recoil controlling correctly. That guy died though. So that's good. Let's go up here, see if he's got any more friends. Doesn't look like it, to be honest. It looks like there could be some friends over here. That was an enemy. That was a friendly actually dying. Okay. Oh, shit. That's not good. You can die. Why? Like, on Fort de Vaux, don't go prone with your bipod. Like, you may kill one, two people, but grenade spam is going to get you wrecked sooner or later. It's like, that is guaranteed. Okay, nobody around here, seemingly. We could go for E. A couple of our mates capturing E. Let's just try and um, make up the small difference in tickets that we've got going. Let's see here. Love the skin for this weapon, by the way. It's full of dirt right now, so you can't actually tell, but it is an amazing skin. The DLC skins are, are, are the good stuff. The good shit, as they say. Um, there's some really nice DLC skins for the new weapons, which almost make me want to use some of the new weapons, despite them, some of them being kind of bad or at least not suitable to my playstyle. Cheeky, cheeky kill there around the corner, but again, not bursting properly. Something else, um, one of my, uh, one, of, one of the commenters, I don't believe he's a regular viewer, but um, he did stop by for a video and made a comment made me aware of recently is my crosshair placement. It's always on the ground, like, and that is, that is completely right, which gave me an idea, actually, to make a video on, um, kind of the five things I, I personally need to pay attention to to make me a better Battlefield player. Probably a better shooter player in general, but specifically focused on Battlefield, given that I basically only play Battlefield when it comes to shooters, or the majority of time I spend playing shooters is playing Battlefield. Nice little double kill there. I thought that would make an interesting video, so let me know down below in the comments if you want me to make that video. I'm alone on the objective now again, which means I'm going to get wrecked. Highly regrettable. But uh, it is what it is. One person on the objective right now. He's on my left. And there was obviously more. They just rushed in. I got rushed by the Zerg, but I think we had a good run there on the objective. We, we were able to hold it for a little bit, and our team has gone on to capture... Well, capture two objectives and lose two simultaneously, so that still doesn't leave us in a in a great position. Oh dear. Anyway, I thought that would make where the hell have I spawned now? That was not deliberate. I thought that would make for a good video, so I'll probably uh, do that in the future. And I'd like to know if you guys have suggestions for me. So the the crosshair placement was a very well valid one, but things that you've noticed in my gameplay, but because by all means, I am not the perfect Battlefield player, that I could improve on. Because I think that wouldn't just be interesting for me, but it would also be interesting for you guys, because likely, some of you at least, are going to be able to improve on similar things as well. So it's going to be kind of helpful for us all, as they say. I've got a nade, so you open that door, I'm nading that place. There we go. Is that enemy gas? No, I don't think it is. Oh, I didn't get the kill. Um, and then I got stuck. Health! Need, need, need the health. Need the health. If I can get it. And, and a bit of ammo. Never harmed anybody. Let's just get down here real quick. And heal up. The ammo's gone. We need to get inside. We've not got a weapon for outside here. And I can't see anything because that guy's just... Oh, I hate those things. Screw you. So annoying. Have another one. Now I'm getting gassed. Let's stop with the nade spam and just... Um, I think we're going to go for a different angle. They're all on D. Admittedly, we've got the majority of flags if we hold C. But if they're going to come and back rage us from behind, that's going to be really bad for us. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing.
That's exactly what they're doing. But some of our teammates have at least noticed. Ah, 77 could have bursted that, then I would have gotten the kill. But uh, didn't. That's better. That's a perfect 8 burst, actually. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you play this weapon successfully. And then you miss your next shots because you're so excited about it. Not the way to go. Not the way to go. Um, let's throw a thing there and burst into there. And well, Actually, this is not going badly for me here right now with the weapon. Trusty the M1911. I've gotten some serious flack for using the M1911. At least on one of my classes, it's always equipped. Because you guys want me to use the revolvers and, and to try out some more pistol stuff. But honestly, I've got enough to do with, with using using the primary weapons in this game. There's lots of tricks and kind of attributes to weapons to make them successful. I think gunplay from a, you know, per gun and how much variety there is in the game is, is excellent. It's just the overall balance that's sometimes off. Compared to Battlefield 4, for all the love that I have for a lot of the weapons in that game... There's a lot of variety in Battlefield 1 when it comes to it comes to weapon. A lot of like weapons that are quite tricky to use but rewarding and very effective if you use them correctly. All the skill cannons as they're called as I keep on going on about on this channel. So using a pistol for me is very much often just a, a backup solution. And for a backup solution I just need something easy to use, reliable, that in a panicky situation or to finish off a target I can use. And that's not when I need a revolver. That's not when I use, need something that requires... Oh shit. Accuracy, as you see, I can't even throw a grenade accurately, let alone fucking use a revolver to kill somebody. That's uh, that's a little bit beyond me. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> we're getting we're getting forced into a corner here. This ain't good. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, it's not good. It's not good at all. Oh, he knows I'm coming. What if we go through the middle? That guy didn't know we were here, at least. Let's quickly get this gun reloaded. Our team seems to be winning right now. Or at least for a short while was. Now I really would not like a grenade. Let's get out of here. Kill that guy. Oh, no. No! There was another guy. I thought they hadn't pushed in yet, but they did. Chat's getting uh, some interesting message going again. What the fuck is going on here? Oh boy. Salty children. Don't get salty. No reason to get salty. Got a snowstorm going on outside actually right now, which makes. Uh, <laughs> which kind of makes me want to play some of the. Uh, in the name of the Tsar DLC. And then again, that's just sniper hell. So we've lost a majority of flags. Um, I, I try and defend A. There's no Zerg for me to join right now, so. One way or another, I'm gonna get outnumbered and killed violently. Not much I can do about that. I'm gonna let that guy pull all the attention. I'm gonna go through here. So I can hear people behind me. It was a mistake, mate. Though my mistake was to not burst again, so now I'm stuck in a really long reload again. Hoping that he didn't spot me. Which is not exactly the way I should be playing this weapon. But there wasn't not many people stayed around to defend A here, so that's good for us. So we may not actually die. Capping this back. Let's see, where do we go next from here? I've almost never played a successful round on this map. So the fact that it's going well right now for me is almost reason enough to actually let you guys see this round. Because I just cannot function on this map usually. At all. Oh shit. No, run away! Run away! Let me run away! Let me run away! I need to reload this gun. They're coming in for it now. Shit! I don't see a guy there. No, that was the machine. Okay. Back flag's still secure. Got one guy there. Quick spray into the mist, as they say. No, you shall not. Lucky that guy was in low health, because my recoil control there was... Uh, not very good. We're still... They were fighting for E. We've got actually a proper fight and not just an empty cap. That's not something you get on Fort the Boy every day either. Could I actually be a squad leader here? I think I've, I'm qualified. What level am I actually at now? 129. Almost at that max level now. Yeah, as I was saying earlier... I know this is very much a rambling video, but this is what happens when I 
don't have a set topic to talk about. I'd be interested to know what you guys think I can improve in my gameplay. Not just for, for the sake of making a video, um, but also just for the sake of it, it being an interesting video. Another thing I'm actually very excited about, of course, is the coming uh, reduction of the close quarter and long range bullet to kills and the, uh, the change to time to kill, which is going to, I think, lead to better weapon balance, but for the medic class. I'm a bit worried about where the medic class is going to be left after that patch. Um, other than that, it's going to really help with the whole you're not able to take on two targets. Flanking is very much um, a matter of being lucky that the enemies you end up shooting at are not very responsive and don't turn around and at bare minimum spot you or respond and get you killed if they've got the better weapon. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. The problem with that patch, however, perfect burst there, is of course that... Um, it means that all my weapon reviews and a lot of my uh, weapon uh, showdowns, comparisons, become obsolete or irrelevant or wrong, simply put. Uh, which is why I've been holding off on making non-DLC weapon reviews, especially the weapon comparisons, because I don't want my videos to be obsolete a week, two weeks, three weeks after they're posted. It seems a bit, seems a bit silly. Now we can go back here onto C to... Uh... Wow! One-on-one, -on -one, um, how to not machine pistol at M1912. Nate? I've got nades as well, though. If you guys start coming down here... Oi! Oi! Okay, I'm gonna stall them. He should hopefully burn to death. There we go. This counts as kill. I'm gonna have to fall back a little bit here. Oh, especially because they're taking apples from behind us. Oh, I didn't kill that. 22 damage? Really? I must have missed him completely. Oh, slightly too slow on the aim there, and the automatic kill will get you. It will get you if you do that. Anyway, I think we had another good run there. Actually, we're, we're doing pretty all right, given that we've gotten close to no revives. 44 and 6. That's um, that's above my average KD. I'm not going to complain about that. The question is, where do we go now? We've been on at A for, for literally what seems like half the round. Maybe we try and follow the Zerg onto D and get... A little bit of a different objective here. <laughs> so you guys don't get bored of seeing the same four corners of an objective. Me running around in circles. While of course rambling. Let's see. Is this a free cap? This is probably a free cap. But this is close to their base. So they can easily spawn in reinforcements which have grenade launchers. I'm not going to step out there. It's just going to get me killed. Yeah. Other side. They could come from any angle though. That's the problem. Oh, we've got people on the objective in the other room now. Team doesn't care, doesn't want to go and get him or what? Come on, boys. Oh, somebody's getting knifed. Somebody is getting knifed. Let's see. Oh, they're coming to take B back. That's a perfect burst. Gonna try and get another one. Ah, he died a few seconds before I could get him. Can I still peek the corner without burning? I can. Get 117 damage but no kill. Um Right. That's how we do things around here, yes. Just gonna snag some of that health real quick, and then flank. Try and flank them, because that's gonna be the, the better choice of way to do things, and just try and brute force them. Holy shit! What have I walked into here? I somehow got a double kill there. I'm not quite sure how, why, or if that was legit, but we did, and we're getting flanked here. Take care of this as well. Oh boy, we're yeah. Close those doors. That's a very good call there. So we can deal with this first here. Oh, I'm getting shot through that. That's that's just regrettable. <laughs> that's just regrettable. That cover could have been more solid. But uh, we got bipodded. We got bipodded down. That's fine. Probably should have just taken a little bit more of a solid piece of cover. The gaps were quite visible. Not that people should be bipod camping on a map like this. We're actually losing. To my own surprise, I didn't think we'd be losing. Do we try and save D? Do we try and go for A? We're taking B. Ah, fuck it. It's a free death, but we're gonna do what we have to do. I'm gonna try and stop them from pushing me real quick. Although, just grenade me instead. That's that that'll work. And now I have to run away with 11 health. I'm going to shoot shot in the back in just a second here. Yeah, no, no, I was wrong. I'm going to be grenaded. Of course I'm going to be grenaded. I forget, of course. It's 
crossbow grenade launchers and stuff. Th these are your actual primary weapons, but if you want, look at this kid. Just now he's taken out his primary weapon. Finally, I've killed this guy four times. <laughs> oh boy, must be, must be mad. Who's the cheater though? Like, nobody's cheating. I'm getting my ass kicked actually right now. All right, spawning on squad mates again. What are we doing here? We're instantly got people coming in to kill us, and they're coming in from the outside. Oh boy. Shit. So many. There's so many. I'm just gonna die here with everybody else. You're coming with me, boys? And I didn't even get a kill. God damn it. Oh, I just walked right into the entire Zerg. Shit. Oh, that's that's not how to do it. That is definitely not how to do it. Oh no. Right, uh, yeah, let's help him take E. Oh my god, I already regret my decision. I regret it. Yeah. I'm just dying again and again now. This is what happens when you no longer get the good spawn. When you always just spawn into the Zerg. Wasn't happening at the beginning of the round, we were doing well. And now we've just died what feels like a billion times in a row. And the reason is because our team's now completely split across objectives. Which, an unusual conquest game, is something good. Battlefield 1, specifically in Fort DeVoe, not a good thing. Because the enemy is most definitely going to just zerg the crap out of you. Absolutely. Without mercy. Just going to zerg you. Let's gas mask this. Actually, there's a guy up there. We need to go upstairs. And get shot through walls, of course. That's the uh, usual operating procedure. Oh, there was a guy there. I was not expecting to see somebody that early. Oh, I hear people. That guy was really low. There's a guy actually on the opposite side of the bridge. They must have taken him out, though. Is there still people back here? There was before. That's why I came up here initially. Still got eight shots, so definitely still enough to take somebody out. Hopefully that guy doesn't die. Yeah, he's going to die. Take him out. Let's see. We're alone on the objective again. Damn it! Why do I always end up in these situations? A couple of squad mates spawned on me, though. Good boys. That was a close call. Maybe shouldn't have ADS. Just should have hip fired there. That was my bad. Oh, shit. There are more coming that way. Okay, let's try and go around. Just saw them cross the bridge. Game's almost to an end, and we're gonna we're gonna end up losing it. But it was decently close contested. Like it wasn't a it was a decently balanced game, which is not not a given in Battlefield One at all. I'm gonna be doing something stupid, rush down here, and then into here, and hope nobody's waiting for me here. That actually worked. That usually will not work. Do not replicate, in case you were wondering. Let's see. Oh, that's a heavy. I almost shot him. Let's see, what do we got here? Quick cap on A, is that still in it? Ticket-wise, probably not. Oh, especially if you let off the trigger too early. As you fail to recoil control. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know down below in the comments, as said, what I can do with my gameplay to be better in Battlefield 1. Also, if you like this kind of live commentary, opposed to the, the usually very heavily edited kind of live commentary, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. I'm now going to run away and hide in a corner. And not going to hide in a corner. I'm just going to die. Because the entire Zerg just came onto A again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, hope to see you in the next Battlefield 1 live commentary.